Rolling boil? Rolling boil. Does In need... go the hops and just give that a stir. And set the timer for... 25 minutes. 25 minutes. That's still pretty aggressively boiling. I'll turn it down a little more. So, second hop edition. Five more minutes. So that's the end of the boil. I'm gonna get this into a sink and uh, bring the temperature down really quickly with an ice water bath. Okay, so I'm going to mix together the san no rinse sanitizer. And a tablespoon. What's the temperature supposed to be, Jules? 75 degrees Fahrenheit. Oh, we're almost there. Excellent. I will start after this stir. Okay, here I come with the work. Ah. Let's uh, let me take a little bit of that. I mix just some space. Yep. Okay, so uh, can I have the measuring cup again, please? Yep. And so we need Probably still a little bit too hot. For the. To actually get a good reading? We can just set it aside for a moment. Okay. Okay, so. Um, if you could put the funnel. And I'm gonna try to run it through a sieve this time. Well, we did a pretty good job. We don't have as much gunk as last time. Not as much, but if we can get a little bit more gunk. Some people take all the gunk or the hot break or whatever they want to call it. A very Out. technical term, glunk. Gunk. Trub. Oh. Trub. That's the word. Trub. Lots of people put all of the trub into their fermenter and other people take all of the trub out. Okay. Apparently you're going to take, try and take some out. Let's try and take it out and see if it affects the flavor. Oh, oh, careful. Not quite so. Yeah, there, there. Trub. There's more than we thought. Mm hmm. Right, because that's a pretty slow. Careful not to push it through. Yep. I don't know if that's okay. <laughs> I'm sure someone will comment. And let you know. You may want to hold off a bit because there may be more liquid than. Do you want to pull that uh, other container up at all? No, we're good. I don't think we should fill this anymore. I think we need to leave space now for uh, the yeast to do its thing because it'll foam up. So. Okay. So that's, in that case. That's pretty good. There's there's hardly anything left in no, that that's pot. that's pretty old. Chubby? I think we nailed our volumes this time. We are sunk. Great. Boil kettle leaves. <coughs> Water everywhere. <laughs> All right, so now we just put, no, we have to put the yeast in. Let's put the yeast in. So last time I was a little skeptical about pouring the yeast on, just on its own, but it seemed to have worked out okay. Um, I have read that 
for dehydrated yeast, the most critical point is at the beginning when it's rehydrating. Okay. And so you can you can kill up to fifty percent of the yeast of the yeast cells in this package by introducing it into a liquid that is high in sugar and high in which which that exactly is. Exactly this is. Okay. Yeah. So I think in the future I'd like to rehydrate it first, but I think this time we'll just keep doing what we were doing. I mean, really, it just kind of sits there and soaks in. I mean, you're talking about something that's going to sit there. It's not like you're making bread and you want it to be ready in a day, in an hour. or. No, I mean... Actually, the, bread's 10 minutes, right? You want it to be ready in 10 minutes. This is... The yeast comes a back. A week of sitting around. A week, so. of, a week of working. So it, the yeast comes back and everything will be fine, I think. So right. uh, you put a little bit of water in that. So, seven days. Each year. Excellent.